so it has been quite a while since I have sat down and decided to record a talk to the camera type video but the new Pillow Talk collection landed through the door and I thought rather than just giving it a quick flash up on stories that I would sit down and I would go through it and show you exactly what's in the collection and show you how it swatches and it compares to the originals because I don't know about you but I found there was so much released that I kind of struggled to see what actually was released if you get me. So I'm going to get stuck right in and show you what is in the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk collection. So I'm gonna start with lipsticks because obviously the original Pillow Talk lipstick is so well known and I'd say so many people have one in their collection. I actually have two. One that I wore down to the nub and is almost gone and one I bought as a backup because this is in my top three favorite lipsticks. I adore this lipstick. This is it here. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand here. It is really creamy. It is a matte type finish I'm just trying to read what it says it is a matte type finish it looks different on everybody's lips so on my lips and also depending on the day it can look a little bit different in color but on my lips it looks kind of a pinky mauve color so that is the original pillow talk and then they released two new shades they released um, number two pillow talk medium um, moyen and number three pillow talk intense so I'm going to swatch the two of them and show you now so we have the original here and now going beside it is number two I am desperately bad at swatches and then you have the third one which is pillow talk intense so there is quite a difference in the colors I think probably the first, well obviously the first two, the first one I adore, I would definitely wear this. I personally think this is a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but it would probably be absolutely stunning on somebody that has got a, dark, a darker complexion or like a woman of colour. So then to go alongside the lipsticks, they have their lip cheats. And in fact, the Pillow Talk original lip cheat was my first ever Charlotte Tilbury product that I bought a good while back. So I'm going to swatch the three of them and show you the difference. So first off we have the original. There is the original above the original lips. Then you have Pillow Talk number two medium and I'm going to put it above the number two lipstick. So there we go. Original number two and then we have number three which again is quite dark. I think most Irish women will definitely get wear out of those but this one might be a tiny bit too or a tiny bit dark on the traditional Irish complexion but I think somebody with a much more darker complexion it will look absolutely beautiful on. What I will say about the lipsticks and the lip liners is they are incredibly creamy. I find the lipstick to be long wearing. Now I will say people do expect a lipstick to last six or seven hours. On my lips, I would never get a lipstick to last six or seven hours. If a lipstick lasted two, three, even four hours, I would think that's long wearing. But I know everybody is different on that. I would definitely get three hours wear out of the original lipstick. I personally don't mind topping up during the day, but I find that they are so, so creamy. I obviously have worn the original and I have worn number two as well. And I found that that lasted just as well as the first one. There was one more lip product in the collection and it is the lip luster in the shade, obviously Pillow Talk. I wear this in two ways. So first off, you can put the lip cheat all over your lips and just put the lip luster on top. Or I put either lip Pillow Talk number one or Pillow Talk number two on my lips and I just put that in the center and blotted it out and it just kind of gave a little bit more of a glossy finish. And that is it just there on top. When it comes to the lipsticks, having swatched all three and worn them, number one is still my favourite. The original Pillow Talk is still my favourite and I definitely think it's going to be the more universal colour. But number two, if you want something a little bit more vampy, is also really gorgeous. So as well as lip products, they also added some new cheek products into the collection. Now anyone who's been following me at all will have heard me talk about the original Pillow Talk blusher because I am uh, Adore it. This to me, while expensive, it is 40 euro, is so worth it on a number of reasons. First off, there's loads of product. Like there's absolutely loads of product. You'll be hard pushed to hit pan on that. Second off, the colour is 
perfect. Like it is so perfect. It gives a little pop of pink, but it also has this gorgeous glow to it. I have worn this time and time and time again. I'll link a video down below where I have used it because obviously I have makeup on my face now. So I can show you how it works on the skin. But what I will be doing is I will be doing a video showcasing all of these on the face when I've used them more and given more of a review. But this is absolutely divine and definitely one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products. I, I have got a lot of favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury, but this is just so gorgeous. So then to go alongside the original Pillow Talk blusher, they brought out the new Pillow Talk Intense blusher. Now what I will say about this one is the tiniest, tiniest touch is needed when applying it to your brush because it is really, really pigmented. So as you can see from the two of them side by side, there is quite a difference in the intensity of the blusher. So it's enough to justify both of them. Um, I still prefer this one because it's just so natural on the skin. But if you like a little bit more of a blush look, then you will really like this. Both are absolutely stunning and still have that gorgeous glow to them because of the little bit of the sheen in the middle. I'm not gonna say shimmer because shimmer brings back kind of visions of chunky glitter. This just gives a gorgeous, gorgeous glow. So now you have got three eyeshadow palettes as part of the eyeshadow collection. First off is the original Pillow Talk Quad. If I'm completely honest, normally when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury, I don't tend to recommend the quads because they are expensive for just four eyeshadows. But I have recommended this a number of times because it is such a wearable palette. If you are somebody who likes to wear makeup but isn't overly confident in applying your makeup, then this is a beautiful palette for you because the colors all work well individually or they work well together and they'll give your eye a little bit of something but your eye doesn't look like overly done. So if you're not confident in using and blending eyeshadows, it won't look like a hot mess if you get me. So then you have the Pillow Talk Pops palette and what is in that palette is four pop shades. So if you look at the original Pillow Talk quad, it has got a pop shade right down the bottom. So basically the Pillow Talk Pops palette has got four of those. I find that these eyeshadows are best applied with your fingers. You can apply it to your, the lids on their own or you can apply it on top of another eyeshadow to give it that little bit of a pop. Finally with eyeshadows you have the new Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. This is a whopper palette. Like it is so beautiful. Yes, there are pink colors in them, but they're not overpowering pinks. So basically they've broken it down into four looks. You have the day look, the desk look, the date look, and the dream look. And yet, while all can be used individually, all also work well together. So the way it works is your first one is your prime color. So they're saying that could be your all over your lid color. Your next one is your enhanced color. So that's going to be like, you're kind of pop it in a little bit in the middle and give it a little bit of a something, something. And then this one, your third one, is gonna be your smoke it out. So that you're gonna put it in your, like your outer third or into your crease, just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. But again, all of them work well together. So if you're somebody who doesn't like a little bit of a shimmer, there is plenty of mattes in that too. This is, it's such a beautiful palette. I've been using it since I got it. It's not what I'm wearing. I wanted to wait to show you in a video. Um, but it is gorgeous. And I do find that her bigger palettes are well worth picking up beyond or above her quad palettes because there is just more value in them. And then finally you have what I think is the standout product in the collection. Something that I don't have similar of. I've gone through my drawers to see if I have a color match and I definitely don't. And it is what I'm gonna recommend that you get because it is so stunning. And it is the Pillow Talk Eyeliner. I am a big fan of Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners because they're so creamy. They don't drag on the eye when you're applying, but they also do not budge. Like they literally stay there all day. The Rock and Roll Coal, the black liner is my favorite black liner ever, hands down. And I have a feeling this Pillow Talk eyeliner is gonna be a favorite of mine too. So as you can see, it is kind of a plummy color. And what this is gonna do is, if you've got blue or green eyes, it's just gonna pop them out of your head. It's just gonna make them really, really vibrant looking. It's also a little bit, while it's an intense color, it's a little bit softer than wearing black. And the 
great thing about these is while you can apply it to your waterline you can also apply them just underneath and smudge it out with a pencil brush because they're so creamy they're really pliable and you can use it I wore it all last week on my waterline smudged out and then also on my lid just on the lash line smudged out it is so so nice so hopefully that gave you a little bit more of an idea of what is now in the Pillow Talk collection. I will be recording a video in the next few weeks showing you the products in use on my face with a more in-depth review. But if you're going to buy anything at all, go out and buy that eyeliner because it is stunning.